public art was always what, you know, attracted me the most, you know. But you shouldn't limit yourself either, and I don't limit myself just to public art. I did a, a fellowship with the Center for Emerging Visual Artists. It's called the New Cortland Fellowship. New Cortland is a series of nursing homes that have a number of locations throughout Philadelphia. And they provided us a curriculum and a class to work with youth and elderly out of a nursing home. You know, it's very symbiotic by how much the youth could gain in experience, knowledge, and exposure from the elderly, and how much the elderly could gain with the energy of the youth. And so it was a perfect fit. I wanted to express within these paintings the idea of memory, how within any random memory there's all these layers, impressions, you know what I mean? A lot of about time and memory is about impressions. With the painting of these little circles, the whole thing is composed of layers. You could tell it's a very representational depiction of these figures, but they're transparent, you know, almost like they are a memory, almost like the backgrounds are a memory. My studio reality is definitely expressing and addressing social issues that, that plague the world, where I get a lot of those issues to confront and to communicate with the world is through the media. I think the media is one of the biggest influences of modern technology and society. I take the images in, artistically spin them, regurgitate them back to society and be like, yo, look in a way what we're doing, look what the media is trying to put on us and trying to belittle the situation. And I spent two years working at Family Court. It was a, a startup program. I would introduced them to figures that were arrested at a similar time and went on to become extremely influential, if not world-changing figures. People like Muhammad Ali, Fela Kuti, Diane Fossey, Nelson Mandela. People who they might have heard something of, but a lot of them didn't know who any of these people were. And what the kids did was they learned. They participated and then all of a sudden they had something to feel proud about. If you're successful when it's all said and done, you have something that's of an inspiration to these youth.